adapter. <laughs> Actually, I doubt that's what it's called. That was being funny. All right, what is this? Four, five, three. A passenger car. But look how the windows are all boarded up. They put an air conditioner on it. Uh huh. Ooh, check it out. They got another hand car on a um, small trailer so they could take it places. Oh, man. Oh, it must be relatively modern. It doesn't even have a... Oh, I see. It doesn't have seal wheels. They're painted red. I thought they were like plastic wheels. That's why I was going to be like, ooh, modern. Sometimes they use lighter materials so that it's easier to move. But big trains, they need steel wheels to handle all that weight. But something smaller like this, you can get away with Teflon or something. Oh, here we are, in memory of David Siegel. Or how you say that, the cycle. Okay, I don't know what this thing is, but it looks really cool. Oh, it must be uh, maintenance equipment of some kind. Hmm. Hmm. Unless they got a chain there, so you can't try to stick it in neutral, push it away. Because look at this, they have a gate there. The tracks cross the road, another gate. And they got more stuff across the street. Utica and Mohawk Valley, chapter NRHS. Whatever that's supposed to mean. All right. Ooh. Some kind of a truck over there, a really small vehicle. A couple of speeders. Okay, I'll get over there eventually. But let me look at this. I can't even tell if that's diesel. Oh yeah, that's diesel, it says on the sign. Okay, what is that called? Dutes Diesel Corporation. Interesting indeed. Oops, there's a wasp flying around. Okay, this one is ugly. Tiny windows <clears throat> for a passenger car, that's kind of lousy. Northern Pacific, Rainier Park, Pullman. The handbrake is over there, <laughs> for those of you wondering. RPCX 9212. Vista Dome, see? It's a dome car. Unfortunately, the glass is all broken. That's kind of lame. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to fit through here or not. But, okay, I'll go over here so I can get a better wide angle view anyway. Uh, excuse me. Oh, it says now it says please keep out restricted area. It's funny how I always go somewhere and then I find out I wasn't supposed to be there. Oops. Anyway, okay, 1135 baggage. Amtrak. RPCX cable running to these suckers and they have um, connections so you can go through there they got the coupler and then air brake hose and power looks like a Hubble connector or something similar looks like it's three wire wonder if that's like DC plus ground man look at the size of those connectors danger high voltage 480 volts AC okay remind me not stick my finger in there RPCX 8509. There's a step to get up in there, but it's closed. Well, maybe I'll ask later. Ooh. I see a step. I see a step. All right, well, I can take a hint. Bangor and Aristook Railroad serving main line. Ooh, and the doors are open. No, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Yeah, they're locked. <laughs> wow, dining car. Look at the fancy tables. Ooh, ah. Okay, good to know. Notice here, they don't have the standing platform down, so there's stairs. Just gotta watch your step. We're gonna plummet to your doom. 
Same thing here. This looks like a regular passenger car. The walkway would be through there somewhere. It'd be nice if we could walk through the car, but obviously they want to protect it from people bumping into stuff. Uh, propane. Wonder what they need propane. Oh, cooking. Bangor and Aroostook Railroad. GTLX 393. Oh, is this one of those um, cars? Observation cars. See how it's rounded at the end, so it's at the back of the train for like really wide with vista view. Nice. Let me come back here. Okay, well, I could take a hint. I'm surprised there's a door up here though. I'd like one, yeah. Can't really see in there except it's wide open. Tons of room. So this is like total first class. Okay, I guess I can go through here. I'll make a big U-turn. It's sort of a dead end, so I'll walk in here in the back. 393. See, it's a little afternoon now, so the lighting's not ideal. This is the kind of place what I should have done is go through or do one lap as soon as they open, so the sun is one way and then do another lap just before they close. So the sun is the other way. But I don't really have time to do that. I went to the Yakima Trolley Museum today, which is really cool, by the way. They let me operate the trolley for like five minutes. <laughs> Here's always a uh, fine print. Okay, I'm not gonna squeeze through there. Obviously you can, but I've already been through there. See, here's a box car. Close and lock doors before moving car. Coupler, air brake hose, Shell SCCX 715. 1923 Shell oil tank car. This car hauled kerosene for lighting prior to rural electrification. Hmm. 1940 drop bottom gondola. gondola. Used to deliver coal or wooden side racks. Were added to haul sugar beets. Oh, I see, I read it wrong. So it's used to deliver coal and then wooden side racks were added to haul sugar beets. See, that's why punctuation matters. Complete sentences. All right. Rear end only. I still haven't figured out which end is the rear. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Inland Empire. Sounds like something Darth Vader would say. The Inland Empire. Northern Pacific. So here's the tender car. Two axles at each end of the car. Man, look how rusted out that is. That looks like a cool hose with the obvious problem that it's like a spring now. It's been demoted. Lots of rust under here. 